taking you inside the wolf's den. Brought to you by Little General Stores. Okay, let's break down senior wide receiver David Sills. Okay, he comes in at six foot four, 203 pounds, 60 receptions for 980 yards, but a uh, nation leading 18 touchdowns. Uh, he's a first team All American. Fred Belitnikov, finalist for the best receiver uh, in the country. And again, according to Dana Hogerson, our head coach, he is the toughest man on the field. At least he believes he is. I'm going to show you some plays here that are actually going to prove that out. Roll it, KB. Let's take a look up here at David Sills. He's going to come up here. It's going to be a running play. Crawford's going to break through. Now check this out here. Oh, yeah. He gets back up. He what? It's a pancake block for David Sills. He thinks he's the toughest guy in the field. Let's take a look at another play. Hey, you still don't believe me? Let's take a look at this. David Sills blocking on Tremaine Edmonds, linebacker. This guy is 6'5", 250 pounds. He's a first round draft pick of the Buffalo Bills. Okay, it's a crack block. He doesn't see it coming, but it doesn't matter. He wants to take him on and he wants to ear hole him. All right, let's go roll it, KB. Coming out, he's gonna come right down here. Get him, boom. Another pancake right there. He gets back up. He's still going at him, okay? It doesn't matter. He thinks he's the toughest guy on the field. Well, I've showed you the two of them right now, but this is just for fun because I love it. Because I love a wide receiver that loves to block and loves to hit. Roll it, KB. Check out right here, David. Okay. Sims is going to come over the top and make the catch. Oh, he's right here. He thinks the play's over, but no. Look at him. Comes off. <laughs> That's a sweet, sweet pancake. Let's take a look now at David Sills in the passing game, okay? If you look here, he's up top here. Okay, he's got to be in the same communication here with Will Greer because of RPO, run pass option. Why is it a run pass option? Because he sees here the vision of this guy here coming off, leaving a big skinny post here for David to hit. Again, he's got to be on the same page. He's got to be on the same page. Let's check it out. Roll it, KB. He backs off here. The defender backs off. Big hole right here. He does the skinny post. He misses it right there. Stop. Let's take a look at the end zone. I want you to see what it's looking like from a defender from behind. Roll it. Yep. Good job. Right here. Who said David Sills does not have speed? Beating the defenders down the field. That's a six foot four, 203 pounder who's running long legged, long strided. Now, let's take a look here at David in the red zone. Okay, why he's so good? A lot of it is with his footwork and route running. Okay, it equals TDs. Okay, let's take a look here at David here. Right here. Now this guy here, he's going to be an NFL cornerback, and he's about six foot three. He was kind of a freak right there for Virginia Tech, but he takes him and he schools him just in footwork alone. Okay, roll it, KB. Fast footwork, stop it right there. Okay, did you see the footwork? He just totally took it and then jet and stepped right here. Okay, we know what that does. That backs him off right here. The cornerback backs him off, so he again has this space here to get this touchdown. Easy, roll it. Doesn't even have a chance. Again, let's take a look here at David in the red zone. He's going to do right here that skinny post. Okay, it's like stealing candy from a kid because his footwork is so special. Roll it, KB. Comes off. Look at the cut. My man here is saying, guess what? I had no chance. Now, let's take another look here in the red zone. Again, is it's all about footwork. We saw the skinny post, but now we got the fade to Dave, okay? And watch his footwork right here and how he makes his defender miss him. And again, it's a really tight play. It's not bad coverage, but he gets it so that he's allowed to actually go up and get that ball and be the only person that can get that ball from Will Greer. Roll it, KB. Right here, let's look at his footwork and his handwork right here with the defender because this is not bad coverage here, but once again, he gets, he goes inside, fakes it inside, and then he takes it outside, and he's the only one that can make that catch. A fabulous pass from Will Greer, by the way. Roll KB. Inside, out, great job there. He gets separation, and then he alley-oops it right to the back of the pylon. That is pretty special as a wide receiver. Let's look at now David Sills as a playmaker, okay? Obviously, he has athletic ability, but he's also got the brains, knowing what the down and distance is, what he has to do to get to that first down. You're gonna take a look at him right here. He's gonna do the shell across the field. But as you watch it, the defender's gonna come up and he's gonna get there and get that first down because he knows exactly what he has to do. Roll it, KB. Here he is right here, check it out. Coming up, he's doing the shell. Now, 
That's it. He, he avoids the defender right there. Now, check this out. He sees the first down here, and he sees this guy coming right here, and these guys coming. How do I get to the first down? It's third down. Roll it, KB. Third. And, of course, this guy gets a late hit on him. It's another 15 yards. But well, that's an excellent job of showing how he knows what's going on in the field, and he can execute under pressure. Let's take a look at this final play of David Sills. And it was, you know, talk about playmaker. It was the Wolf's Den catch of the year for sure. And I think it was the best in the country. But let's take a look at my man, David Sills right here. He's going to go out. They're going to do what I call a rub. A rub is legal. It's not a pick. A pick is when you get in the defender's space and actually make contact and block. Okay, this is not. This is what we call the rub. Roll it, KB. Comes out here. Right here, the rub. Keep a little bit more advanced. Right there. Okay, he does not enter the space of the defender. These guys are in man coverage, so they're trying to get by each other, but just a rub. Now, let's take a look right here. As he comes out, he's going to do a 360 and make this catch over his head and with one foot in. There's a 360. Stop right there. Wow. Are you kidding me? My goodness. Let's take a look at the end zone shot right here. Again, great ball from Greer. Only place it where, place it where the, only the offensive guy could get it. 360. Oh, yeah. Check it out, foot is in, roll it. Oh yeah, completed catch all the way through. Hey, join the WVU Mac and support the 1100 Club. 800-433-2072. This allows our head coach, Dana Holgerson, and his staff to go out and recruit the elite. This is a Fred Bolitnikoff, okay, finalist. That's the best receiver in the nation. Thank you for joining me. Boom!